All right, welcome to my channel. Tonight we're going to be doing some CW Morse practice using Iambic Master and the Wincure USB. This is one of the easiest projects, soldering projects that you can do. And I have a complete tutorial on it out there if you just type in YouTube how to solder and put together the Wincure USB. It's a fun, easy project. And what it really is, is, it's, is you don't need a, ra a radio to practice. You can just... If you want to type out while you're driving, while you're on the road or something and just learn, I have my radio in the basement and I want to practice sometimes. So sometimes I'll just tap out a full QSO and just practice sending. You know, oftentimes we, we practice receiving, but we don't practice sending. And so it makes us better. So what we're doing is we're connecting it to the USB. And when you do that, you can get a, a game, I call it a game, called Iambic Master. And what it does is it, once you hit start, it gives you uh, something to type out. K7RF249 Tim, okay. And you pretty much have to get it perfect. And I'm going to show you that. Now, in this game, you can get a trial 1 out of 10, go all the way through the 10, and you win the game or you reset it. For a while there, I was trying to do one a day. I would do one set of 10 per day. And you can see how frustrating it is because if you get it wrong at all, you have to start completely over with the line. And sometimes you'll sit there and do it over and over and over again, and eventually uh, you will get it, but it can be frustrating. So let me give you an example. I'm going to do the K7RF. Okay, that was fine. But if you leave just the slightest of gaps, you have to start all the way over. Watch this, 249. Now, did you hear it? I left the slightest gap, and see the gap on the screen? There's a two space four nine, you failed. You have to start all the way over. And until you get it all right perfectly, it will not work. And you can pause in between the words, but not in between the letters. So I could continue on and go, had I not failed. So the rest of this video is gonna be me trying to get through 10 and see how you can do. Now I have another camera down here. Uh, another thing, I'm experimenting with my new Brio webcam up here, the clear one. And then my old crappy cam is right here looking at my hand, so you can watch my hand. Uh, this should be kind of fun and interesting, and it should be a little embarrassing too. Now, I noticed I'm running OBS software to get this all looking the way it does. I noticed that sometimes my nice screen will freeze. It's just, I think there's just too much going on, so be aware of that. All right, let's try to make it through all 10, and I'm going to do my best and curse a few times. Okay, here we go. You hit start. Number one, K1, KI. Ah! Did you see that I have a REXCA? -E I didn't wait long enough. I got in a rush. Got to start all the way over. Here we go. I did it again. I jammed it all together. All right. Now I finally got it all in a row and it will go on to the next one. <laughs> one down, nine to go. Now, you see, I thought I got it perfect, but you notice that S, the I was supposed to be an S. Let's try again. Start over. I got it. Now, if you think this is easy, ooh, Please, I, I invite you to try this and send me the video. If you can get all 10 of these without making a mistake, you are my hero, definitely.
Now you might be wondering, why are we doing this? I'm telling you, you will get really good at it if you do this consistently because the, the spacing between your letters will be perfect because it has to be. Whoa, I almost screwed up those last few letters. Ah. Oh, man. <sighs> Start over. Man, this is hard. Ooh, I almost screwed up that F. Now, what ends up happening is you, as you get better and better, you start to realize what you're doing wrong, and you start to kind of see the letters, and you start to kind of do them before you get there. It's hard to explain, but your mind just starts to pick up on what's good. All right. Got to concentrate. Wow, got it. Now, in some ways, this is easier because I have something to look at. I don't have to think about what to say. I don't have to send a report. I don't have to think, you know, I'm not doing any impromptu speaking. I'm just dumbly looking at it, but it's still super hard. Man, I got three in a row, I think. Ugh. All right, now I got all ten, it, it ends. And you win this huge prize of nothing. Anyway, um, I can't tout this as enough as being away. See, I wasn't practicing ever because my radio was downstairs and my key. I didn't want to go all the way downstairs and, you know, turn everything on and set the break into off so I'm not sending. So it's just nice to carry this around and have it and just practice whenever you feel like. That's kind of fun, too. I might just, um, you know, say something like. Now you notice I'm slipping, that, that's a problem. That's why I screwed up, like, it's really hard not to slip. I need to find a way. That's why I always hold on to it like that. I, I was trying to hold this up to you so you could hear it, but I'm gonna try it again. It is much harder to just think of the letters and then type them out. Think and think. I have a very hard time with that. If I can see it, I can just do it. But thinking of it, it's hard. Okay. Now I'm going to send you a message and see if you can get this.
A crummy commercial? Are you kidding me? All right, let me know if you like this. This is just me having fun. Uh, maybe we can do some more practice in the future. I would like to see what you think of this Eombic Master and see if you can get through all 10. It is really hard. It's a great project. Definitely buy this and build it.